Yo, what's up guys? It's your boy, Minik RQ. Welcome back to the channel. In this video, we're going to be discussing Fortnite's actual response to these siphon changes and these stretch resolution changes. So, I hope you guys enjoy this video. If you do in any way possible, make sure you drop a like on it. And do not forget to let me know down below in the comments, do you play on stretch resolution or native resolution? Because every time I make a video on the whole Weaver thing, I ask you guys that. So, I'm going to change it up a bit. Let me know your thoughts on that down below in the comments. And my two supporter creator code shoutouts in this video goes to my man Turtle Guy and my man Kevin. I'll link all their channels down below. And if you guys are new to the channel and don't know what I do, if you use my supporter credit code OmniGuard and you'll find an item shop and buy anything with my code, I will shout you out and link your channel down below in the description. So make sure you guys buy some of my code, I really appreciate it. Without further ado, it's your Bunagarg, and let's get right into the video. Alrighty guys, so if you're confused at what's going on right now, an Epic employee posted on their Reddit yesterday saying they're gonna make a blog post tomorrow, as in today, about the siphon changes, such as evolution, everything like that. So with these siphon changes, it says, under the pressure of intense broadcast competition, play styles differ significantly from regular play, with less aggression in the early game resulting in a crowded endgame overabundant in turtling. We introduced siphon during the pop-up cup tournaments to provide incentives for aggression that more closely resemble how the regular modes are played and to increase entertainment value and spectacle I think I'm saying that right everybody enjoyed receiving health and shields for eliminations after we introduced the changes to core modes but there was an unexpected consequence players at large grew more frustrated with Fortnite play feeling that they had less of a chance due to encounters with high skilled players with full health and full shields Ultimately, Siphon increased engagement for the highest skilled 10%, while the remaining 90% were frustrated and played less. And then it gets into, over time, players began to disengage in core modes, stating that the game had gotten too intense to be enjoyable. I don't know who's saying that. The reduction in the viable play styles in combination with this feedback was the bias of us removing the siphon mechanic and the material changes from the core modes. For players that prefer the sharper experience of siphon, we do offer an always available arena mode that includes the siphon and material cap changes. So they basically said, if you are bad at the game, you don't gotta practice, you don't got everything like that, we got your back. If you're good at the game, we're gonna completely screw you over. So now let's get right into the stretch resolution and the field of view aspect of it. It says, many competitive players have asked for an FOV slider to improve visibility in vertical endgame build battles. There has been an ear over our removal of stretch resolution, a relic of supporting old 4-3 TVs, which results in a distorted screen aspect ratio. When a game introduces a feature that provides a gameplay advantage, players gravitate towards turning it on to maximize their chances of success, even if this makes the game look and or feel a little worse. So the stretch characters and distorted views detract from Fortnite as an entertainment experience for all. Fundamentally, we seek to avoid optional settings which provide players with a significant gameplay advantage. And then it basically says the current default FOV sliders of 80 is traditional to accommodate. And then it just says a bunch of this stuff, which I really, to be honest with you guys, it's not important to me. All you got to know is that you're not getting stretch resolution back at all. But you can always play it in like public matches and all that, but if you're going to like the competitive side, the arena modes, you cannot have stretch resolution. But the last part I'm going to get into is it's under game evolution. It says, we have many goals we want to accomplish for players, and sometimes there is a tension between these goals. Special events bring change and freshness to the game, but also affect some of the stable elements that competitive players have trained for. Weekends are the ideal time for the largest number of players to be able to experience special one-time moments, compete in tournaments, and watch them. Fortnite is an ever-evolving game, keeping the gameplay and tournaments fresh is a key aspect to growing and a player and viewership based on that enables a large number of high-stake tournaments for competitors and everyone who enjoys watching them. We aim to reasonably stabilize gameplay in advance of the Fortnite World Cup Finals. We had hoped to stabilize for an online qualifiers, however, the newly weekly online tournament cadence means which we will be doing this for some but not all. So basically they said you are not getting stretch resolution back siphon is not coming back and we're gonna reward all the bots who are bad at the game to not even try not even have to get better at the game so that's all I have for you guys in this video, just letting you guys know what Fortnite said about these siphon changes, the stress changes, everything like that. If you guys enjoyed this video in any way, shape, or form, make sure you drop a like on it. Let me know down below in the comments your thoughts on this, and as well, do you play on stretch resolution or native resolution? Let me know your thoughts on that down below in the comments. Make sure you guys subscribe to the channel if you're new. As always, and without further ado, it's your boy and I will talk to you guys tomorrow with a brand new upload, and I'll see you guys there. Peace.